Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Star Citizen and the final vendor day of Invictus Launch Week 2954. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and if you want to get start uh, in if you want to get started in Star Citizen, use my referral link. It's down in the video description below. Uh, we are here at Area 18. Now, unlike the other days of Invictus, uh, the Drake Defense Con is actually, it actually takes place here near the ASOP terminals at the spaceport. So if you haven't already checked it out, um, head on over to the spaceport. Uh, this is going to be up until Monday the 27th, I think. Uh, and then uh, Invictus ends, I think, uh, as far as like all the showroom floors, uh, ends at noon on Monday. So be sure to check this stuff out before then. So we're going to head to the De Defense Con. This is basically all of the Drake ships, and it takes place outside of like the normal Invictus celebrations because of historical reasons. Apparently there was some bad blood between the UEE and Drake. And so uh, they are not allowed at Defense Con. So that seems like a big box for such a small model, but what do I know about that kind of stuff? Um, so here we are. We've got all the, the ships. We've got the Cuddy Black, which is arguably one of the most popular ships in the game. It's definitely... Uh, a very nice little runabout. Great starter ship. I think that's just another... Oh, no, this is the Cutlass um, Steel, yeah. It's kind of like the gunship slash dropship version. It's got a bunch of uh, dropship seats in there. As well as weapons on the door. And I think it's got an, an another turret. Yeah, it's got another little remote turret in the back as well as uh, a rear door gunner turret. But yeah, it's basically just <gasps> jump seats. Uh, we've got the Drake Mule, the little cargo handler, uh, the Cuddy Red, uh, which is the rescue variant. That's another really popular version of the Cuddy. I say Cuddy, but it's the Cutlass. And then the Cutlass Blue, this is like the law enforcement bounty hunting version. And it's got the... Uh, the stasis beds in the back. Do, 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 do. Yep, here's the stasis pods so that you can put your uh, <laughs> your bounties on carbonite. I don't know. Uh, in the Back in the display hall, this is just the hollow suite. I was shocked to find that the brand new Ironclad, which was just announced earlier today, is not featured here. Um, it's just the Kraken. I actually own a Kraken. I have no clue when I'm ever going to get it. Probably like three years from now. And that's being that's being nice. Um, they just announced the Ironclad, which is kind of a major step up from the, um, the uh, Caterpillar here. But it's not nearly as big as the Kraken. And, though they did make the argument that you know, the ironclad will be kind of like the artistic step between the Caterpillar and the Kraken, and it'll allow them to develop the Kraken more quickly. Who freaking knows? I just want my Kraken. That's all I can say. Uh, we've also got the uh, all the variants of the Cutters out here. The Cutter, Rambler, this is probably the Scout. Yep, Cutter Scout, and then the base Cutter here. I think this is such an ugly ship. I, the back of it's cool, but literally from like like this line right here forward, I think they could totally make look about 90,000 times cooler. I don't know. It just looks like a train and a pickup truck had a, like a mutant baby, and this is the end result. Um, also the Drake Herald, this is like actually one of the fastest ships in the game. I don't know if it's still the fastest, but for a long time, it was literally the fastest ship in the game. Um, data running ship. Uh, you've got the ladder going up there, but you know, as you can see, it's all engines, like literally the whole back half of it. Like this is, you know, like the, the data, 
area. There's basically like a bathroom and two bunks back in the back. And then everything else is just engines and big engines, too. Um, also, one of the most popular ships in the game since it was released is the Drake Vulture. This is your beginning uh, or beginner salvage ship. And uh, definitely super popular. If you're going to buy a ship that is going to make you tons of money, uh, especially early in the game, this is this is going to be a worthy investment. Whether you work your way up the one in-game or you buy it with cash, yeah, the, the Vulture is literally one of the best ships in the game. And then finally, the uh, Corsair which is a pretty big gunship. I mean, look at this. Those look like size fours, if not size five guns. Um, I think they should really rein the guns in a little bit. When they removed uh, all the turrets, like all the turret pucks, they bumped all the, the guns up a not, like a tier. So I, this looks kind of corny with like these big massive guns on the front. But, you know, you still get a ton of firepower. Actually, the the points on the wings don't look like they changed. I don't know if they those had pucks or not. But definitely a great ship if you're not wanting to um, pick up a Constellation. Uh, the Cutter is kind of just as good, if not better in some ways. Uh I, I almost like this ship more than I like the Constellations for most things. Definitely cool. You got your two side turrets there. But what's really nice is a lot of these, well, like all the forward guns as well as the wing guns can all be controlled by the pilot. Uh, if you want to bring a co-pilot along, uh, this seat actually goes down a level and um, you can have a chin turret gunner, which is kind of nice. And that's it. That's the last ship uh, at Drake Con or Defense Con, I guess. Uh, and that's it for Invictus Launch Week. Now, I would wait until the finale begins to purchase any ships. You'll be blown up what? Oh, I'm I'm listening to the. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, we forgot one thing: the Drake Dragonfly right here in the middle. Whoops. Uh oh. There we go. It's the hover bike. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, I would wait until Monday after the finale begins to to purchase any ships. There could be some CCU chains, which might allow you to save some money uh, buying the ship uh, that you're looking forward to. But uh, hopefully all of those will be available at the same time. All the CCUs will be available at the same time uh, to you know, help us save money. So with that said, that brings Invictus launch week really to a close. You still have until the 30th of May to take advantage of the free fly weekend. And again, if you're looking forward to um, taking advantage of that and you haven't created a star citizen account yet, use my referral link. It's down in the video description. It'll get you an extra 5,000 alpha UEC for the free fly. And if you decide to purchase a game package, you'll be able to carry that uh, 5,000 alpha UEC over to that as well. Well, that's it for this look at Star Citizen. I am Bradham73. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.